Hi guys, this is going to be my 32 week update. Oh my gosh, my hair is a mess. Um, so I thought, let's see, so 32 weeks, wow. We have eight weeks to go, two months um, until I, you know, I feel like a bomb at this point, just kind of counting down until I just pop. Um, I cannot believe I'm this far in. So eight months exactly, um, two to go. So I want to address a couple of things first, and then I'll talk about the baby, the growth, um, what's going on with the baby this week, and then I'll talk about my symptoms and do, do my measurements at the end, like I always do. Um, I don't have anything to review this week, so hopefully it's a pretty quick video. I don't want to bore you guys. So first of all, I want to just say, um, if you haven't seen the nursery video, I'll put a link right there ish um, go check it out so it's pretty much done and um, I'm excited because literally we just we have small stuff to pick up and that's it like just like creams and you know I feel like I was going through my list today and it's it's oh it's pretty much done so I'm really excited about that because I just I don't like to cram everything in at the last minute and hope that, um, you know, it's going to be okay. So let's see here. Um, beyond that, oh, this week I'm going to post a diaper bag video. I've got it all packed and, um, it'll be my big diaper bag. I'm probably going to pack a second diaper bag, like a small one, um, just to kind of travel between, um, my place and the daddy's place, um, so that we don't have to lug the big one around all the time. And it might be good for, like, going short distances. Like, you know, i got to go to the grocery store really quick. I don't really need to carry a giant diaper bag with me. So, um, there's that. And, uh, oh, I've had several, several, several comments and um, questions in my inbox about asking me if the um, father of the baby and I are together. And the answer is no. And, um will probably always be no because just for many many reasons but the um yeah we are trying to be friends because obviously with a baby involved it's it's pretty important to have both parents involved so um i've tried i've tried um making sure that i'm keeping him involved like he's going to go to uh, most of the baby classes with me and <clears throat> just trying to keep him involved is i feel is pretty important but uh, no, we are not dating, and the answer is no, we will probably not get back together. So, <laughs> just want to clear that up, because um, I, I literally had like four messages in my inbox when I logged into YouTube today, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so, I didn't want to give that impression. We are not together. We live separate. We have our own places. He does live like a mile away, so that's really nice and convenient. Um, and... Uh, he will be there for the birth and all of that. So, yeah, there's that. So that kind of um, tables everything that I had before I was going to talk about the baby. So the baby this week is 19 inches long. Um, so that to me seems like almost full length. Um, I feel like she's going to probably be a little bit bigger because I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'8", and um, he's 5'10", but I have a lot of family that's really, really tall, so... I'm hoping for those genetics. And uh, she's about four pounds now, so almost almost done. I think they gain about a half a pound out now for each each week. Yeah. Um oh they're starting to curl up into the, like the fetal position to get ready for birth. So um at this point they're usually head down. For her, she's kinda head she's head down, but she's shifted off to the my right side so I don't know it's really weird I can always feel like an elbow on my left side and then her feet are always up kind of like near my rib cage slash chest boob area so um she's definitely head down ish and um they are creating their own little sleep cycles which is um which has always kind of been the case for her I've always kind of had like a set schedule that I feel her and then um, she'll kind of just go to sleep for a while. Now it's, I feel her a lot 
so I'll wake up and then once I get to work I feel like maybe once kind of shift when I wake up and then when I get to work when I'm at work all day I'll feel her pretty much 80% of the day she will just like be moving and stretching and moving and um, there will probably be like an hour or two where um, she doesn't really move um, usually when I'm at lunch and stuff I don't really feel her because I'm up and around but for the most part while I'm at work I feel her pretty much all day uh, when I get home from work uh, she's usually asleep again and then she'll wake up probably like an hour or two before I go to bed um, move around some more and then I don't feel her the rest of the night which is really good because I'm actually a really light sleeper so if she's moving I would know um, you know I can I can like hear people walking just down carpet it's my I'm just a, such a light sleeper um so yeah so I, her sleep cycle I hope stays like that after birth because that would be amazing no it won't happen but whatever um yeah so that's pretty much the baby nothing nothing too exciting oh their skin's um starting to um not be so translucent that's kind of cool um, my symptoms, so there's a lot going on this week, um, I did get sick once off of, um, some food, I don't know if it was the, f maybe the food I ate, or I just, I don't know, I just didn't, it was like first trimester all over again, I just got really nauseated, and then got sick, and then, um, it was while we were on vacation, and so, I was not feeling very good for about an hour, and then it just kind of went away. So it kind of, it really did feel like first trimester again, where it was just like, oh gosh, I'm going to be sick, and then I felt good like an hour later. So I probably just ate something bad, would be my guess. But there was that. Uh, my constipation is getting so much better. The cherries are helping. I'm eating um, extra fiber in my cereal, and um, yeah. Lots of apple. I'm eating an apple a day, at least one apple a day, sometimes two. So um, all the extra fiber has been helping. It just took some time. So that's fantastic. It's so much less discomfort being able to get rid of that symptom. Uh, my ankles that I was talking about being swollen. Um, if I wear my compression socks daily, it's gone. Like I don't have any problems with my feet swelling. Um, I did not wear them one night this week and. Um, was cleaning my apartment, and by the time, like an hour later, they were just, poof, again. So, I just have been making it a habit to wear them every day, and I don't know if that's healthy, but it's working. So, um, there's that. So, then, oh, sleep is getting really hard to come by. Um, I don't know, I just can't get comfortable, and it's, it's not anything to do with the baby. It's just my body. I can't get comfortable. My back hurts and, um, you know, just the lim ligaments in my stomach are stretching and it's just so uncomfortable. And, um, I try, like I've been building a, I have a pillow fort in my room. So I have my body pillow and then I have a pillow for my back and then I have a pillow for my belly and then I have a blank, a pillow that goes between my legs. So I have this like fort in my room, but it's not really helping, so I need to redesign my fork somehow. We'll see if that helps, but because in the daytime um, I'm fine, I feel fine, my body feels fine. But at night, when I'm laying down, I just I just feel like I have back pain, and it's just super uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, there's the back lower back pain um, even when I'm if I walk too much, I have that too. Um, Congestion is getting really bad, and acid reflux is really bad. As you can tell during my video, like I'll kind of stop and be like, oh, awesome. Um, yeah, but congestion in the morning and um, right before bed. But during the daytime, it's fine. So it's only when I sleep. My gums are bleeding when I floss, and um, I have trouble breathing when I'm sitting. So like... You'll see me on like <sighs> during this video. It's because I'm sitting and it's just I'm like out of space to breathe. So yeah, that's all my symptoms. <laughs> that's a laundry list this week. I'm sorry. Um, that was the baby, and like I said, go check out the nursery tour. And um, I addressed 
you know, the daddy and I being together. And make sure you go to check out the diaper bag video I post later this week. So I'm going to do my measurements, and then we'll be done. And I will see you for week 33, and we'll be less than two-month mark. Yay! So I'm feeling kind of full because I just ate dinner, like, not too long ago. Just take my jacket off. And put my pants down. Let's put the shirt on. I keep having people tell me I'm just super, super tiny, but I feel like I'm a balloon. Shirt up. Front. My round. And my belly button is starting to poke out just a little bit, but it's mostly flat. I don't know if you can see how flat it is. <sighs> okay. So I'm a little over 36 this week. Just barely. Just barely over 36. I'm just getting big, 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 big by the week. Ah! Um, no stretch marks yet. So there's that. I, I do put oil and lotion on it every morning and every night before bed. Um, and I try to remember during the daytime at, at work to put lotion on. But sometimes that doesn't happen. But anyway, I will see you guys for week 33. My lucky number.